Have you ever stopped to think about how tarot works? I've spent a lot of time thinking about that myself because when I do a reading I need to have a sense of how accurate that reading is because very often a client will base uh, financial or emotional decisions on my reading so I need to know that I'm getting it right and I'm going to demonstrate a little idea of one of the many ways I think tarot works. Here is a three card reading for myself, past, present future and I was asking about my tarot business and my relationship with tarot. I definitely in the early years of my tarot business it was an escape from my life. I had four children very close together and uh, we didn't have a lot of money and life was very very hard hectic and manic and sitting down with my tarot book and my tarot notes and a tarot deck and delving into tarot was the most beautiful way of escaping possible but the joy of using tarot as an escape method was unlike shamanism where i could be in a deep trance or an altered state of consciousness if as and when one of my children woke up i can just put the deck down and go back and be a mum so yes definitely i think now uh, as a tarot business that's the past in the present I am really, I have a vision as to what I want to do and I'm really blending both the inner and the outer journey and I'm quite optimistic about it and definitely in the future I need to make some changes to how I work, arguably um, I just work too hard, I need to streamline it. So that is a quick rundown of the reading. I think when you first start reading tarot this concept of past present future is essential the idea being it's like you're, you're finding the code the pattern you're looking for the link what has happened in the past that has created the future that could create what's happening next basically if i know using the tarot how you have acted in the past, the decisions you have made, if I know what your mindset is now, then I can make an accurate prediction as to your most likely future. Now the good news is, hey, this is a great spread, I'm really happy with that. But if this is a bad card, if this is a dark, difficult card, the good news is that by adjusting my mindset, I firmly believe I can change the future. And if these are dark, difficult cards, if I'm reading for myself or a client, they're going to understand them, acknowledge them, get them. And so I see this as a map. You need to understand the past to appreciate where you are right now, to understand where you're likely to go next. There is another layer to a tarot reading. It's all very well focusing on me, my mindset, what I want to achieve. But I live in a physical world. I have lots of outside influences as well and sometimes this reading can be very focused on a client's um, focus intent state of mind but sometimes what we can actually achieve is dictated partly by our relationships our physical health perhaps our financial status what I like to do is I like to look at the bottom card of the pack and to me, very often, this relates to other things that you need to know. And what this is saying to me right now is that my commitment to my tarot research, to writing my tarot book, to my tarot business, is definitely dominated by my family. I could achieve a lot more if I work longer hours, but I don't want to, because I want to enjoy family life right now too. And so the potential of the magician is great, particularly when it comes from the star. But I think actually right now relationships are more important to me than the success that the magician can bring. And so I hope I've demonstrated a little bit about how if I'm reading for a client, I'm trying to understand this pattern. I may well have nine cards. I may well have three in fact, I, I, I love to do that. Three for the past, three for the present, three for the future. And then have a look at the card at the bottom. Can my client validate that what I'm saying about their past is right? Brilliant. Do they understand what I'm saying about their life right now? Fantastic. If they do, 
then I can speak with, with quite a good degree of confidence about what I'm predicting in the future for them. And then I'm always saying to clients, you know what, if you don't like this, work on this and this will change.